Hey everyone, spring is almost here and that means it's time to style some new pieces. A piece that has always been in my closet in various iterations is something like this. It is a denim dress and I thought it would be fun to show you a bunch of ways you could wear what you probably already have in your closet. Now, if you don't already have a denim dress, I do have a couple of pointers and I do have a variety of dresses to recommend to you, different styles, lengths, cuts, and price points. I put them into a little collage that hopefully is fitting on the screen here and I will link to that collage down in the description box if you wanna check it out. Everywhere from Walmart pricing to boutique, let's say, pricing. But what you're looking for, first of all, is something that you like, that you intrinsically see it and you're like, oh, I would love to wear that. Secondly, I think the fabric is really important. I like a denim look without true denim. So this one is one that I picked up recently from my J. Jill try-on. If you missed that, I'll pop that up there. This is actually tensile fabric. I love tensile because it's very lightweight. It's very flowy. A traditional denim dress, and I have found some of those if that's your preference, is a much thicker, stiffer fabric. You're not gonna see it drape and flow the same way, but some people prefer that. So I wanted to give you all the options. I prefer flowy. This one runs big. I'm wearing this one in an extra small. I love the fabric. I love that it has pockets. And I love that it doesn't have the traditional collar that you normally see in a shirt dress. It is styled like a shirt dress and then it buttons all the way down but I'm not dealing with this collar, which actually gives me a few more options. And I prefer a V neckline on my shape. If you are larger chested and you're also trying to hide some stuff that's going on here, the V neck draws the eyes kind of downward and it makes you a little more narrow. Anyway, this one in particular does not come with a belt, which gives us some more options for styling. But before we get into swapping out shoes and layers and accessories and all that good stuff, I just wanted to let you see this dress for what it is in all of its unstyled glory. And I'm just wearing it with a pair of basic sandals. And if you wanted to wear it just like this, you absolutely can. So before we get to adding belts and styling this up differently, let's talk about a really easy way to change up this look. And that's by just changing your shoes. And before I get any further, a couple of things. First of all, everything I'm mentioning and sharing with you as far as actual products are listed down in the description box. Secondly, these are suggestions. There are no hard and fast rules. This is just putting on clothes and shoes and having fun. If you put something on and you don't like how it makes you look, take it off and swap it out for something else. So I personally prefer something with a bit of a heel. I feel like it elongates me. I'm only five foot four and it does help thin out my legs. It helps thin out everybody's legs. Sometimes it's impractical. Maybe it's too cold to wear open-toed sandals. So let's make it a little more casual and make it a little more everyday running around. And let's put on some sneakers. Now I know the big chunky sneakers are very in right now. You can never go wrong with a pair of just basic white sneakers. And obviously this is great for running around town. I have a couple of sneakers that I really love. I've had these for a few years. They come in and out of stock. What I love about these is they already have the laces sort of tied, so they're really just slip on. And there's a slight platform in the back, so it gives you a little bit of lift. So I think these are a really fun, easy way to make this way more casual, a little bit sporty, but let's say we want it a little less casual. Although this, these are so comfortable and really fun to wear. Let's swap it out for my kind of go-to shoe, which if you've been watching me for a while, you know is my trusty ankle booty. Now, if you're not new here, you're well aware. These are probably my most worn shoe and I feel like they work in a variety of situations. These do come in a lot of other colors, so you don't have to get this exact color. You could warm it up with a richer brown, you can wear black, whatever. When it's denim, pretty much any color or tone is gonna work here. You can choose a boot style that goes lower on the leg, closer to the ankle. You can choose something that goes a little higher up the shaft, so to speak, up your calf a little bit, especially if you have really thin legs. And then you could also opt for the other classic, a taller riding boot. Let's give those a try so you can see how this looks. 
The last obvious suggestion I have is something most of us have, some sort of taller boot. Now, if any of my fellow Texans are watching, you're well aware it's rodeo season, and we'll get to that, and we'll switch these boots out for something more appropriate for this time of year where we live. But if you want it to look a little less costumey, less rodeo, more every day, I love a pair of riding boots. These exact ones, unfortunately, are no longer available. These are from Walmart. I believe the black are still available but the tan are not. But you can find a classic riding boot at almost any price point all year round. And I will list a couple options down in the description box. If these are not your thing, the other example I wanted to give, rain boots or hunter boots are also a great option. So we've taken care of some basic options for footwear. Now let's mix it up as far as layering. All right, let's talk about what you can layer on top of it. And yes, I know so many of you are itching to put a belt on me, I get it, and we'll get there, but I wanna talk about some of these layers. I know none of this is rocket science, but sometimes we forget what we have in our closet and what goes with what. So let's talk about just something as simple as a basic cardigan. The nice thing about denim is that it goes with every color. So I get a lot of questions from you in my Instagram DM saying, hey, I've got this interesting color pair of pants, or leggings, what can I wear on top? I have nothing in my closet that goes with it. And I said, well, do you have a basic denim shirt? Because that goes with everything. Now, in a perfect world, I'd have the sleeves unrolled so that they wouldn't be bunching up here. That is a feature I actually like about this particular dress, is not only, obviously, can I roll up the sleeves, but it has a little button tab to keep them in place. But for a try-on video, it is a little uncomfortable. So pretend like that is all done. But do you see how this totally works? It makes it look a little bit different. And also, I don't think it's as glaringly obvious that I need a belt. I feel like the long layer of the cardigan kind of adds that extra, well, obviously it adds an extra layer, but it almost brings it in a little bit at the waist. So this is a really easy way to totally change up a basic denim dress. If you wanna have a similar feel, but make it a little dressier, go for a sweater blazer type situation, which has become very, very popular. And again, I will link exact where I can. There are a lot of variations on this. This one is from Maurice's, and I think this camel shade may have sold out, but I have similar options on Amazon. Obviously, J. Crew, I shouldn't say obviously, but J. Crew sort of paved the way on this. That is a different budget item, but this is almost like outerwear as a blazer. I like how this goes. If you're going with camel, you might want to change up the shoes to have a little more warmer tone. I don't think anybody is really sitting there taking notes to see if your shoes and your cardigan are two different tones of camel nude, but if that's something that annoys you, they have different color boots actually in this exact option. Then of course there's like the true blazer. Now you could really kind of kick it up a notch, especially on a business casual type day, by doing a more polished structured blazer, which is fine. Today, I chose to share with you a knit, less constructed, less structured blazer. I picked this one up during the anniversary sale and I'm still very much enjoying it and I think it's still actually around. And of course, if where you're living is freezing cold, add thick tights, you still go with the boots. Maybe if you're gonna be wearing black tights, you wear black booties, but you get the idea. I really like this too. Now let's switch it up to some different outerwear that I really feel is as much an essential part of the outfit as everything else you're wearing. Oftentimes when you run into people out and about, you're outside doing your things and the coat or outerwear piece and just whatever peeks out from under it is all they're gonna see anyway. So maybe you wanna put some extra thought into your outerwear. I just picked up this recently. You may have seen it in my 30 plus pieces epic haul. It was essentially a Walmart Amazon haul combined. And I got this faux suede bright pink moto jacket. I think this is so cute. Woo. It also comes in navy if you don't want quite this much color, but I think this looks really cute over the dress. In this case, I'm noticing in the monitor, if you're wondering why my eyes keep going in that direction, this hits me not at the best length in this outfit, and it does sort of accentuate that it's all up and down. So 
For the moto jacket, I would recommend wearing a belt just so you can break up those lines a little bit, make it look a little less boxy. Another easy thing to wear, it's a go-to this time of year where I live, is just a vest. It just adds a little bit of warmth, but not too much. Our temperatures are all over the place this time of year. A couple days ago, it was in the low 80s. Tonight's low is 33. We are all over the place. So just get a basic vest. And again, it doesn't have to be white. That's the beauty of denim. You can wear any color with it. This works too. Let's keep going. One piece of outerwear people don't even think about pairing with a denim dress is a denim jacket. So you can decide to do that a few ways. You can do something a totally different color, or maybe just white for a little contrast. I don't know how this is gonna work. Let's see, I did not pre-try this part on. This is okay. I will say that Chico's is my go-to place for denim jackets. They are the softest and they have the best selection across the board. And those are just starting to trickle back into their website as well. Okay, just popped on yet another Chico's denim jacket. This one is in a slightly darker wash. And I have to say, I prefer this one. And then if you wanna make it look like it's more of a skirt and less of a dress, you can just throw a top on top of it, like so. Another option is to just throw a sweater on top of it. Now this one is kind of giving me like schoolgirl vibes because it makes this look like a, like a fun little swingy little skirt. And I also chose not to pull this up or make it look like it's bloused over. And I just, I was playing with it in the mirror and this is how I ended up liking it the most. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. But what I also like about it, having it long like this below my hips, right below my rear end, is that it kind of gives the look of a drop waist dress, which you're gonna find out when you watch next Thursday's video or this Thursday's video, is one of the big spring trends. So this is a way to fake that drop waist look with two separate pieces. What I'm talking about when I say cheating it to look like it's bloused in, what you would do is, hang on, let me get a belt. Okay, so the belt I love, these usually come in sets. It's a skinny belt and it's self-adjusting, so you can make it as big or small as you need it, and it just clips like this, so you don't even need to worry about belt loops and things like that. I don't love doing this for a variety of reasons. I am not a particularly fussy person, and I feel like this adds a whole other element of fussiness to my wardrobe. I wanna just be able to throw on my clothes and go. But basically what you do is you put the belt around where you want it your waist to be, and then you just, without flashing your audience, start pulling the over layer, the top layer over, so that eventually it's bloused out. Let me go off camera to finish this. So if you are inclined to wear a sweater like this, just remember to keep blousing it, blousing it, blousing it, until the blouse part that hangs over covers up the little part that sticks out underneath the belt. I personally feel like this is too much effort for an outfit, so I'm not gonna do it, but, it's very popular with a lot of the fashion bloggers, so I did wanna share this concept. We've covered what to throw on top, we've covered some footwear options, let's just play with a couple more things. Now, this option is nice because I'm not wearing it as a dress. I'm essentially wearing it maybe as a, I don't know, denim cardigan, a duster jacket, I've just unbuttoned the whole thing, and I've thrown it over the most basic thing. So I love the look, let's just, show you the look without this. I am one of those people who truly thinks that an all black outfit is in fact slimming, <laughs> but I am not brave enough to walk around like this. I can't even believe I'm on camera like this. I feel a little more comfortable being maybe a little bit covered up. So just wear this like a very long cardigan jacket thing. Makes you feel a little more modest, a little more covered. Your whole thing isn't out and about. You could swap the leggings out for some skinny jeans, maybe some black skinny jeans or a dark wash. And it gives you some coverage. If you wanna add a little more definition but still wear it open, you can get all kinds of belts. This is that same belt I just had on but in a brown. And then you just adjust from the back and make it as tight as you want. It's hard to do without a mirror, but you get the idea. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. It's like an extra jacket that you didn't even know you had. But I will admit, my favorite way to wear a denim dress is during rodeo season in San Antonio and Houston. It's right now and coming up for those of you in Houston. If you live in Texas, it's essentially all year round. Or maybe you're going to a country music concert and you want to dress to fit that occasion. 
Let me change it up a little bit and we'll talk a little bit more about my all-time favorite way to wear a denim dress. So I have to say, yes, I love wearing a denim dress all the time. If I'm not wearing it like this, I'm wearing it with those sandals down there. But this is my favorite way. Now we can go old school. I will link to a few places. I've had these for decades. You can throw on your very embellished rhinestone belt. I do like the more modern take on this cowboy boot. The taller look is back. And I love that. And these exact boots are still available. So this belt, man, I got this years and years and years and years ago. So this exact one, I can't link. I found some great options on Etsy though. And I actually usually wear these with uh, jeans. So I, they don't go small enough for my waist. The other pretty traditional look, you can never go wrong with some turquoise. So if you can find yourself a turquoise belt, then you've got all the things going on. Wear this unironically, as my kids would say. But I'll be honest with you, going to the rodeo is not a costume party. So how I like to wear it is a little less heavy on the country western and just how I would style a denim dress to wear anywhere while happening to just be wearing a pair of cowboy boots. So I like a belt that I would wear no matter what. And you can always look for one that's like a, you know, matches your boots exactly. And I would go to the rodeo like this. And I would not wear a cowboy hat. I'd probably just throw on a white or cream colored baseball hat. Those are just a handful of ways that you can style a closet staple, a springtime essential, dare I say. I would love to hear from you. One, do you have a denim dress in your closet? And two, if you do, what is your favorite way to wear it? Can't wait to see your comments below. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun. Happy rodeo, San Antonio, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.